Welcome everybody to another video by Sander for the YouTube channel Sander Over and today we are going to take another look at another set box. This box is for another one of my customers and also a fellow player of my Commander Playgroup. He is very busy with this PhD and uh, he just did not have the time to open this up. So I told him, you know, why not let me open it up for you so you can look it up in a video and we can see what's in here. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, you know, this is a Wizards box. Now it's a Santa Rover Gaming tabletop whatever box and we're going to crack it. And we're going to see what we can find inside. Now, uh, for all of you out there who are watching my channel for the very first time, I welcome you to my channel. Um, I would also like to say that I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed to the channel. Um, there's actually, you know, some goodies in, in for it, uh, uh, in it for you when you subscribe, it should you win, because I'm going to do a... Uh, standard set booster box giveaway from the most current set uh, when I reach 1,000 subscribers. So then I'm going to pick a random or, or a subscriber at random and then I'm going to crack the box. So um, you also need to subscribe to my channel. I'm sorry, but uh, to the Facebook page. I'm sorry, but that's the only way I can get into contact with you. Because YouTube does not allow you to contact people through their website. So, there's that. Uh, okay, let's get started. Um, we got some art. We're going to put the art in the corner again. Let's see if I can make some room here. Because it will really, really help out. There we go. Also, I'm using the other camera again because I found the quality of the camera being subpar. When I was watching the other video the other day. Ah, look at it. It's Mishra again. Didn't we have Mishra at the first pack in the first uh, one as well in the last video? Are we getting a... Don't tell me this box is like a copy. Like a mirror. Okay. We're going to see what happens. Okay. We got Brother's End. We got uh, the foil. And we got the token. Um, yeah. Uh... Urian, this box is for you, so keep watching. Let's see how many Portals of Phyrexia we can pull. I have not pulled any yet, so that's kind of an interesting turn of events because I would really think it would, at a certain point you would pull one. There's Ramos, the Dragon Engine. That's our first Mythic. That's actually really cool. I like that card. It's a schematic, but it's still it's a very cool card. And we got the fir uh, our first... Rail land cycle. I'm gonna put the rail lands here because uh, last time I didn't have any, so that's weird. Oh, and we got an endoskeleton list card from Urza's uh, saga. Is it saga? I don't know. I I, I can't. I, I, it's one of the Urza block cards. So uh, it's an old card, but it's not a reserve list card. So let's just you know. Because you can't reprint those, right? Unless they're, t they're like uh, proxies. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. Uh, look. Ha, ha. There's a first robot. Or, sorry. Our first uh, transformer, I should say. It is a mythic. So we're going to put it in the mythic pile. And the swift foot, uh, swift foot boots, boots. And a Phyrexian dragon engine. That's the part that you need for the... Uh, Meld with the uh, Mishra, which claimed by Gix, and this is not claimed by Gix. So, just so you know, another uncommon and another. <laughs> it's another Urza Saga list card opportunity. Target player draws four cards. That's really nice, but it's six mana. That's kind of a lot, uh, to be honest. But now, well, no, that's okay. I guess it's okay. You draw four cards. That's that's quite a lot. So. Um, let's see. We got some commons again. We're going to go straight to oh, Flow for Knowledge. Oh, I dropped it. Now it's worth nothing. The Psychosis Crawler and uh, Hall of Tagsin. That's also a, a rare land. 
uh, and one man of any color and you can create power stone tokens that's really nice I like that I like the idea about that uh, um, the um, uh, upcoming set the Phyrexia set I believe people are finally starting to discover the new set and slowly the orders are trickling in um, but Dominaria remastered <laughs> people are freaking out a little bit so uh, Simla Simlin's Anvil really nice and Steel Seraph I really like that card I like the the prototype part of the cards Blitz Automaton um, because uh, uh, Dominaria remastered everybody it's gonna be a good set just keep that in mind oh Mox Ember a really nice picture of it not a real don't if you're just listening don't worry it wasn't the card it is in here though so it is possible that you'll pull it oh titania nature's force really nice really really nice it's not the flip one it's not the uh, meld one but it's still a very good card uh goblin char belcher and a teething wormlet and a geology enthusiast which which is the foil it's this is the foil rare by the way uh but i'm going to put it in the rare pile and oh we got a rare land forsaken city forsaken city doesn't untap during your untap step which is interesting Here, let me focus on that so you can read it uh during your untap step at the beginning of your upkeep, you may remove a card from your hand uh, in, in your hand from the game. If you do untap Forsaken City, you can. It. It. I mean, you know. Yeah, it's okay, but it's not that good. But see, now I need to focus again because this camera does not like somehow it doesn't like the autofocus. So I don't know why it does that, but it just seems like you know I don't want to focus on whatever you're doing um tomical scrapsmith okay we got some common we got some uncommon oh we get sardian avenger that's a rare uh from the commander set oh we got we got a chromatic star yay oh wait what's here <laughs> muriel shield of argive oh and we got a foil rare gold bug okay now that's a foil is it a rare or is it a mythic? The color is weird. No? No, it's a rare, I think. It's not... It looks orange from... Uh, from this distance, though. That's weird. On the camera, it looks like it's a mythic. But I'm just going to put it in a mythic pile. I'm not sure. I, I don't think it's a mythic, though. But... Uh, we could compare it to the other one, but that no, it's a mythic. I th it's it's a mythic. You know, I think maybe all the transformers are mythics. By the way, I don't think are there any rares. I'm not sure. Anyway, oh, upside down island. Yep, yeah, I love the artwork on the islands with the with the uh, trend or the transformers, the uh, artifacts on it. It's really cool looking with the golems and stuff. Titania's Command. Oh, that's nice to have. Um, and we got Sibling Rivalry. R rivalry, yep. Um, yeah, but the uh, Dominaria Remastered set with all the reprints, because let's face it, they are reprints, most of them. Or at least or most of them. I think they're all reprints. So, But come on, let's face it. There's 27... From what I've heard, 27 sets from the Urza's block. So um, <laughs> there's a lot of choices out there for that. Let me just focus on this. You know, um, there's a lot of choice in that. So there's a lot of good stuff out there. Adaptive Automaton, that's actually really, I think it's a really good card. Uh, Perennial Behemoth, I think Adaptive Automaton was also in War of the Spark think or it was one of the core sets from that from 2019 2019 or was it the first modern horizons i don't remember man this is just okay i'm gonna keep those little tokens in the back so here we go we're gonna see what we got we got sort of the meek we got thrown spider nice power stone 
constructing vehicle or creature, I should say, when it enters the battlefield, it creates a tap powers token for uh, you and target opponent each create a tapped power token. Which, you know, is very useful if you have an artifact deck. If you don't, then it's pretty useless. So, uh, residual of valor. Oh, there's a siege veteran. There's our uh, uh, soldier card that's really popular right now with an uncommon iron claw crusher foil uncommon so yeah we got a foil uh, transformer in our decks so, or in that in our box so i don't know if we're going to get another one um yeah and we had another foil i know so yeah we got two foil res already uh vision of virexia fog of war and uh, nothing um but the uh, Phyrexia all will be one. Uh, oh man, why are these packs so tight? There you go. Um, that set is, I think, going to be a big hit. Because everybody likes Phyrexians. I mean, the Phyrexians that are out here. Ooh, Aether Flux Reservoir. We're very, very nice. Look at the. Let's see if you can. Well, look at the artwork. Aether Flux Reservoir. Really nice. If you don't know what it does, here you can see what it does. You know, 50 life, and then boom. Thank you very much. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. See you later. Um, the Phyrexian... Um, the Phyrexian creatures and everything, it, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be insane. And... Um, now about the March of the Machines, uh, another, another Mishra. Okay, so we got a double tap on the Mishra there. Okay, Ornithopter, and we got Quicksilver Amulet. Okay, now that's actually a really cool Quicksilver Amulet. It's really nice. And Urza, Prince of Krug. It's not the one that. Oh, and we got an Endless Worm. That's funny. Oh, let me just put this here. Endless Worm. Endless Worm is a rare from another Urza set. There you go. Yeah. During your upkeep, sacrifice an enchantment or sacrifice Endless Worm. Now, why is this guard card so good? It's five mana, th uh, three generic and two green, and it's a 9-9. Nine -nine. Can you imagine putting a 9-9 nine -nine on the battlefield? And if you can generate power token or power stones, just, you know, you can... Uh, oh, wait, you got to sacrifice enchantments. So, okay, so you need an enchantment deck. So, yeah, okay, fine. It, generate enchanted spirit tokens or whatever. Put it in your enchantment deck. But it's a 9-9. Nine -nine. It can really, it can hit really hard. But then again, I don't know. Commander nowadays, you know. Liberator, Urza's Ballet Thopter. Battle. Ballet. Ballet. Seriously, it's a Battle Thopter, not a Ballet Thopter. And a Temporal Anchor, which is a foil rare as well. Look at it. I really like the artwork. And we got nothing there, so. Um. Let me uh, let me put that phone on silent for a second because I have no idea what could happen if somebody calls. You know, I put the put the old. I'm yeah. I'm I know. I'm very professional about this, so don't bother me. Wait. Oh wait. Do bother me and leave a comment. Leave a snarky comment because that's what people do if they re. You know, if you've if you hear this, leave a comment like. Um, that pile is not stacked correct, stacked correctly. Just leave that and, you know, I'll know that you've, oh, oh, <laughs> hey, okay, Urian, you got your, you know, there's your Mox Amber. You're welcome, you know, uh, the, the, Mox Amber, that's a, a nice 20 euros, I think, or maybe even more. I'm, I'm not sure. Really nice, really nice. You know, the mythics are stacking up again. That's that's actually really cool. And I love the full artwork on the Mishra's though, but yeah, that's beside the point apparently. It's just all about the mythics nowadays. 
Nobody cares about the commons. The commons are, you know, good for the firewood to, to, to uh, you know, burn the, or start your barbecue or something. And then you got a rune chanter pike. Rune chanter's pike. The quick preview you get has first strike and gets X to zero. Where X is the number of instants or sorcerer cards in your graveyard. Yeah, time for uh, the uh, shenanigans with, uh, I don't know, is it? <laughs> Do something with is it or a defabricate? Oh, really nice. It's an uncommon. Anyway, we're we're going through the uh, packs here. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the March of the Machines. Uh, now it was a rumor, and I heard, I read it on uh, Facebook and uh, MTG Rocks. It's a website about magic stuff, and they sort of think is there only is there only one rare. <laughs> Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Only one rare. Hostile negotiations and bone saw in rainbow foil. Yeah, you got another different foil, and we got a, a time spiral. Yeah, time spiral land. Urza's land. Urza's factory. Really nice. Create a two-two assembly worker artifact creature. That's it's that's nice. Um. I'm going to put it with the uh, uncommon or with the uh, rare lands because I find it an interesting land because it's, you know, Urza's. Uh, no, I was talking about the March of the Machines that they're actually planning on putting six cards in one pack. And Optimus Prime, the hero, and it goes or it turns into Optimus Prime Autobot leader. You dude, you're in you're going to be happy with this because I think you you were the one saying that you really wanted some Autobot cards. Well, uh here's Optimus for you. So that is pretty cool. That is nifty cool. I'm going to focus back. Come on, focus. Yep. Yeah, I don't really like this camera, but I'm going to have to deal with it cuz <laughs> it's a uh, the quality is better, but the focus, the autofocus is weird. Because if I do this, now it should focus, but it's not, it's just not doing that. And uh, I don't know why, but it's just not focusing on it automatically. Really weird. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to focus back. It's, it's interesting that it doesn't do that. I don't know why, but it's just not focusing automatically. Um, which means it's really hard to tell for me if uh, if the focus is correct. So, um, what were we? Oh yeah, the six cards. Oh, there he is, Urza, Prince of Krug. There he is. Uh, no, that's the other one, <laughs> but it's the full art one. I keep mixing them up. Oh, and you got an arcane proxy. That is really nice too. You're probably wondering what it is, what it does. Well, I'm going to show it to you in a second. That's just nothing. It's just because I'm going to have to get it back up here again. Okay, so you got prototype. Then it's a two one that doesn't nobody really cares about. It. Although you can put it in onto the battlefield because when Arcane Proxy, Proxy enters the battlefield, if you cast it, exile target insert sorcery card with mana value less than or equal to Arcane Proxy's power from your graveyard. Okay, copy that card. You may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. So if you pay the full cost, which is seven, you could maybe like a take another turn card, get it from the graveyard, copy it, and then blink it and get it again and... Yeah, you can pull some shenanigans off with that, like an instant loop. I can just think of it right now. Or with, uh, yeah, Yurian, copy artifact, uh, stuff like that. Yeah, or, yeah, cop, yeah, no, you can pull some instants or some shenanigans with that one. But, March of the Machines, a lot less cards. There's a fortified beachhead and a black blade reforged. And Coalition Relic. Add one mana to your mana pool. Put a charge counter on Coalition Relic at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase. Remove all charge counter from Coalition Relic. Uh, add 
one mana of any color to your mana pool for each counter removed this way. Okay. Remove. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, fine. <laughs> nice. You can pull some shenanigans with that one as well. I have no idea right now, so I'm just uh, I'm just not even gonna guess about it. But six cards in a pack, I'm gonna be a little bit pissed off about it. And probably, there, I, from what I've heard, there's not gonna be any commons or hardly any commons. Ooh, Rootwire Amalgam, dude, man, the, the amount of uh, mythics we're getting is insane, and good mythics. I mean, we got a Mox Amber, that's really cool. Um, I'm, get, I'm getting all worked up here because of the March of the Machines box. Now they're gonna have collector boxes and epilogue or prologue, prologue boxes or something and then they're yeah, they're gonna change everything when it comes to magic and oh, there's blaster that's another oh, it's, it is a mythic another transformer and we got a bone saw and we got soul partition that's a really nice card and uh, yeah another black lotus proxy card should you or at least it's not a really proxy because it's got the back from magic and not the 30th magic card anyway I'm again I am not focusing I should be focusing on the <laughs> uh, March of the machines so if it's true, I don't know. It's just oh, blast zone. It's just a, a an rumor, I guess. But it seems that this rumor is not based on just nothing or hearsay. It's just actually people seem to know about this. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to think about it. Oh, we got oh, we got an underground river with full art. That is really nice. A really nice full art underground river. Ellsworth Flask, and then we got Tono Tonos, and we got nothing or nothing. That's not nothing. But um, yeah, so um, um, just a couple of more subscribers to one thousand subscribers, everybody. One thousand subscribers, and then we're gonna give away that set booster box, <laughs> key to the city. And we got Argos, Sanctum of Nature, another rare land. Man, it, it, this box is on fire. Go for the throat in foil. And we got another list card, which is Detonate. It's an uncommon. And it's from uh, Meriden. As far as Meriden? No, that's the other one. Uh, yeah. Um, from that era. I, I can't remember. It, I, there's so many symbols now. And this symbol... Yeah, I know it now. I know it now, but I'm not sure if I can remember that. Ellsworth Flask. Herkill, Master Wizard. Okay, a mono, mono green, or a mono blue uh, thingy. And we got Gwena, Eyes of Gaia. 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 Gwena. Okay, so that's a mono green. And we got another list card. Croesus, the Purger. Ah, uh, okay. It's, uh, I don't know this one, so whenever Croesus the Percher deals combat damage to a player, you would pay three. If you do, choose a color, and that player reveals his or her hand and discards all cards of that color. That is nasty, man. That is just na some nasty sauce. You can wreck somebody's hand with that, for sure. But you got to pick a color. So anything colorless, like Eldrazi... <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm laughing. I it's because of a game I played this week with uh, friends. You know, I played an Eldrazi deck. It was insane, man. I, I I hadn't play tested it yet, but yeah, it it's just now I understand why they haven't reprinted Eldrazi that much. So let's just put it that way, because not the big ones at least. There's no set with Eldrazi's. And I know that uh, when it comes to the lore, I think it's not even possible. I, I haven't been around in that era, so I, I'm not sure. Lanoir Waste, another full art land. Man. <sighs> Whew. Stasis Coffin. I think I'm going to delete the video and keep this box for myself. All right, everybody. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm kidding. You're in. This box is yours, so... You got lucky. Uh, you have a ton, a ton of good cards. Um, but 
I'm gonna send it to you, or you're gonna get it when when we play again. And uh, yeah, everybody, uh, <laughs> Ultra Magnus. Let's just put another mythic in here. Let, what? No way! Everybody, do you, can you see this? Can you? What is it? What, what's the, okay? That's not a mythic, but come on. Really? Okay, this is a thumbnail, because I'm going to put this away, and I'm going to put this away in one hand. Are you serious? So let's see what we got. We got a Mystic Forge, we got, and we got Gix, the Yawmoth Praetor. Of course we get that. So, uh, yeah, everybody, this was the vi- I'm going to focus here. This was the video. Um, this box, man. I, I, this- has to be like some kind of a god box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen mythics. Okay, and then we got two full art lands. Then we got one, two, three. I'm not gonna count this one then. I'm gonna put that here. Four, five, six rare lands. And, uh, well, you got a Mox Amber. Uh, you got a pretty good list card. You got Mishra's and Urza's. I mean... <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed this, Urian. I did. I really hope uh, everybody else enjoyed this, too. Um, I'm, I'm going to sleeve all this stuff up. Uh, thank, you very, uh, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. It's just a couple of more day or a couple of more subscribers and then we can do like a thousand subscriber thingy probably in the beginning of next year should everything work out. Uh, then it's going to be a Brothers War set box. So, you know, <laughs> you can get lucky with this stuff. You, as you can see, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just flabbergasted here. But, you know, awesome sauce, guys. Awesome sauce. I'll uh, catch you all later and have a good one. Have a happy new year. Should I not make another video? Uh, um, Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas because that comes up first. Maybe in between I will make a video. Um, yeah, this is it. Uh, um, Merry Christmas and stay safe. And I hope to see you all very soon again. All right. Bye.